Rob, congratulations, a victory in the Grand Slam of Darts, going on first, always tough, but you must be happy with the way you've started. Yeah, um, I sort of done the right things at the right times. Justin, I felt like he struggled in the game. He never really got going. And um, I sort of, I suppose, uh, there was one point in the game where, where I had 272 left, and I think I hit a straight ton. Um, unlike me, I'd usually go bullseye, and I'm thinking to myself, I've got six of this. He goes and bangs a max, and I thought to myself, oh, I missed that. But um, I was lucky to get away with that, really. It was taking liberties. Was it a relief for you to get off and running? Because it's been a difficult few weeks for yourselves, and that must give you some confidence getting points on the board early. Yeah, I'm nice and relaxed. Um, it's, it's weird. Do you know, I played I played the Winter Series last week and um, results never went my way. I started off, I didn't really feel well at the start of the week. Um, and then as I went on, I, I started to feel better, but I was missing doubles at crucial times. Um, that's, that's just one of them. I have to take that with a pinch of salt and I have to move on and... I was just glad for the win today. Did you need the break as well in the Winter Series? Because you took the Saturday off after the World Cup, coming straight back. Was that just to reset your mind for the Grand Slam? No, I think I think the little boy at home, yeah, he made me feel so guilty that I was away because it's his birthday today. So um, every single day I'd FaceTime at home and he'd say to me, Daddy, are you are going to make my birthday? And I said, Lates, I can't make your birthday. But I was glad, yeah, I sort of got that day and a half with him. And and I said, he's, he specifically told me, yeah, to go sick today, <laughs> like he would at school. So um, it, it was a relief, really, to get off to winning ways. But I made him happy and I got to see him. I let some fireworks off and we, we had a great night on Saturday night. And for you, obviously, you're one that talks about routine, time on the board, practice. With this run of tournaments we got now, is this a good thing for Rob Cross, do we think? Yeah, I think so. I think if my head's in the right place, then then I can do great things. Um, I have to admit, I didn't spend last week. I did, like I said, I wasn't wasn't too well at the start of the week, first couple, three, maybe a few days. Um, and I went home, I spent it with the family. And do you know what? It was great to see them. It was great to have a bit of time away from the venue and all, because obviously we're in Coventry. But look, you've got to look forward. If I play my one of my best games, or if I turn up, then I've got a great chance to win this next week and the world. So it's a good thing to look forward to. Rob, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Rob. Um, great result for you today. Um, what was up with you? Why, you said you weren't well at the Winter Series. What was up? Just terrible sinus. I think it was lack of sleep and and um, sort of like tiredness. Really, I, I just I didn't really feel myself first first couple to a few days. Really, um, I felt better. In fairness, when Lisa Rashton beat me, I actually felt better. Um, no excuses there. She's a great player, and I thought she was fantastic. And I got to tip me out. Really have. Um, a lot of people have been questioning your form and saying that you're you're a shadow of your normal self, but you've you've sort of made an art out of winning with your C and B game. So what happens when you do get your A game? Oh, maybe I'll win more. <laughs> no, but look, I, I enjoy the game still and I've no I've had troubles, but at the same time I have to set them aside. I have to come in here and make sure I'm ready and, and if I do turn up I can group I can do great things. I personally don't think there's anyone in the world what worries me when I'm on for. And what do you need to find that A game? Or is that the, is that the billion dollar question? No, not really. I think um, I'm practising really well. I did, it's probably the smoothest throw I've had in, in months. Um, everything's going well. Even today, really, I, did, I didn't really feel much pressure there. Justin didn't put too much pressure on. And it was, it was just one of them what I could sort of cruise through. But maybe if I come out from a start and I'm asked a few questions, then I need to turn up and I need to deliver a bit better. Maybe it'll be there. So um, there's nothing wrong with my practice game at the minute. I'm enjoying it. I'll go up there. I'm just a little bit under par. Great stuff. Well, listen, thanks again for your time and well done today. Cheers, mate. Rob, well done on the win. Um, in the round robin, is the mentality a little bit different? Does it allow you to relax a little bit and play yourself back into some form? No, nah, not really. I think I think the round robin's the worst thing for me. Um, obviously, yeah, you're only going over best of nine. It's very, very short. If you don't turn up a few legs, that could be potentially a 3 0 head start where you've given your opponent. Um, I'd like to go over a longer format, and and I really would. But at the same time, it is what it is at the minute. I've got to do the job, and and I've got to sort of look forward. So um, 
we'll look forward to that and actually get a decent game out. That'd be nice. And with the events coming thick and fast now, is that a good thing for you, do you think? So it doesn't really allow you to, to dwell on any bad results? No, I think, um, do you know what? It, it's got to be the weirdest thing in the world because if anything, I've lost a few games last week in the winter series, all through missing doubles at the later end, once I felt all right. Um, I feel in a really good place. I feel like my scoring's come back and I'm banging loads of 180s on the dartboard now and it'll just be a matter of time until I hit that eight game. It will be. Okay, cheers, Rob. Thanks. Yes. Rob, it seems like your World Cup teammate, Michael Smith, has been sort of reinvigorated by England duty. Obviously, you say you weren't too well at the Winter Series, but do you feel like that could be the case for yourself as well? Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you know what, yeah? If I, if I didn't feel, yeah, I could win, I wouldn't even attempt to go on the stage. I think that's important. And look, if I can't win, I'll go home. Um, all the time, yeah, what I believe I can win, I'll keep going on that stage and keep trying to make right. So... And fair play to Mike. Last week in the Winter Series, I thought he was brilliant. I thought he deserved it too. He was, he was low on a bit of confidence here and there. And um, maybe, yeah, that was the kick up the backside and the results what he needed to sort of go forward. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Rob. Cheers, mate.